William coming in, uh, you know, obviously the new singer, um, and obviously, uh, you know, Jerry's always done the, the harmonies very well, and that's what, you know, you guys are known for, uh, doing those great harmonies. You know, how, how is it uh, with the push-pull of who's going to sing, you know, leads on a lot of these tracks? Well, it comes, it comes natural. Um, J Jerry always sang a lot of leads, too, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a, a, a growth process, and uh, actually William used to jam with Jerry in a solo band, so there's, they have a backstory that goes back probably 10 years, you know. And we, we didn't try out a whole lot of singers, there was just about two or three guys that came down from different bands, and uh, it just seemed to fit right with William, and it, it's, it's really funny, uh, you know, it, we, we just totally went left field, we got this, uh, you know, black guy, you know, who comes in, plays a lot of guitar, and just he's a really charismatic front man, and oh yeah, it's just, a, it's been an amazing uh, thing to see William just stand up there and just look these crowds in the face and put his chin out there and say, all right, what do you got, let's, uh, you know, bring it, you know, he's just a, yeah, just a great guy too, I really like hanging out with him too, and that was, that, that's like 50% of it for us, you know, we, we wanted another brother in the band as opposed to some guy, you know, some dude. <laughs> Guys, uh, one of your promo videos, um, you guys were uh, <laughs> putting on kiss makeup on and, and driving around. How did that video all come about with that idea and, and ending up in a laundromat? I mean, I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah. no sense at all. I think that's that's the whole thing about it. But we always try to have a good time with stuff, you know. We get so bored kind of doing it, you know. We've been doing this so long, and uh, I, I think it was Sean's idea, our drummer. He wanted to just do something funny, and uh, so we called up we called up the kiss office, and they said, "Yeah, go for it," you know. So. Uh, obviously, we're Kiss fans. We played a lot of shows with Kiss over the years, and it's just uh, it's just a fun thing to do. I got to tell you, it's funny. I, I was the one that didn't want to do it. I was like, oh no, I don't want to do that, you know. And then, uh, but as soon as I put the Gene Simmons makeup on, I turned into the God of Thunder. It was just amazing, you know, how that it transforms you into a superhero and magically, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They, uh, when they put that on, it's like the, they become the character, you know? Oh, it's great, yeah. It's, a, it's amazing to, to, to just have a good time with it. We're still having a good time with it after all these years, you know? <laughs> um, Harmonix MTV Games announced that five of your songs are going to be on Rock Band. Uh, what's your opinion of this whole Rock Band phenomenon? I, I think it's really cool. It's bringing... Um, and I, I, there's two sides of it, you know, a lot of people are saying, like, uh, you could say the same thing about like a show like American Idol, you know, people like hate it. And, or they hate rock band because it's not they, it's teaching kids like not how to play guitar but they play the game instead but I'm just the opposite I, I'm internal optimist and what my whole thing about it is that uh, it's bringing music into households you know even American Idol is too you know and uh, it's really cool I was talking to Slash about it and we just suck at rock band we try to play it and we just suck at it you know and these are guys that you know we do this for a living and we, we there's some little five year old Korean kid that's like better than me it just pisses you off you know you go to like a Walmart or something there's a guy that's just shredding on it you know and I, I can't even get through a song you know, it's funny. They give you that one sound too that that tells you you're a loser. So I've been getting used to that. <laughs> um, my opinion, I thought uh, your CD was the best release uh, of 2009. Um, it was a great record put together. Uh, like I said, the harmonies with William. Um, you know, don't over. He, he has his own identity in the band, but enough where he's keeping a lane. Uh, memory alive, obviously, and uh, him and Jerry work very well together. Obviously, with you and Sean as well. And um, you know, we at BackstageAccess.com definitely appreciate Allison Chains back together, and hopefully, you guys continue rocking. And uh, anything else you want to say to the readers out there? And oh my God, just thank you for listening. You know, we're we're very uh, blessed by this. You know, and we couldn't do it without everybody. You know, and uh, we could come by, drink our beer, hang out. You know, fellowship. Come by and uh, bring your earplugs because we're, we're very fucking loud. <laughs> Come and see these guys in 2010. They're going to be in every country. Uh, you named uh, States, Canada, Europe, uh, wherever, uh, everywhere. Um, these guys are going to be touring uh, Black is Way to Blue. Uh, great CD if you haven't gotten it, pick it up. BackstageAccess.com. Thanks for checking us out, Mike. Thanks, man, for taking the time. I appreciate it, man. Thanks.